It's kind of funny, when I go to BitChute, you know, you go to their trending tab, man, there's just a bunch of people saying a bunch of ridiculous conspiracies, as you normally find on BitChute, but this time it's about yesterday's events. Some of them are saying, oh no, it was all Antifa's fault. One of them is saying, oh, it's the Vatican. There's a conspiracy theory regarding the Vatican. Then there's people saying, oh, the people who were shot, the people who were hurt, those are crisis actors. The woman didn't really die. And so on and so forth. Now, there is footage out there that's questionable, like this. Now, some people would argue that those can't be Trump supporters because they're using the flag to try to break the window. Now, I suppose that could be true. They're also wearing dark clothing. But you can see their faces. They haven't covered their faces. So, I mean, it's not like they're trying to be secretive about it. Do we know why they're booing? The camera is focused on one particular thing. It's zoomed in. What are they booing about? They could be booing about, about what they're seeing there. There may be a number of Trump supporters who are like, well, no, no, we don't want to do that. That's fine. But just like with riots that have happened with Antifa, you know, if, if you're at a riot and you start seeing people do things that are wrong, it's time to leave. But these people didn't leave. They went on into the Capitol building. It seems pretty obvious the guy wearing the dark orange and gray jacket was trying to stop the other two from being destructive. That's commendable. Okay, I'll give them credit for that. And maybe the booing we heard, as I said, could have been from Trump supporters saying, no, no, we don't want to stand for that. Okay, that's commendable. But once people were able to get inside, they went right on inside. Now, there's some other footage that I've seen that seems kind of weird, too. Okay, it seems that the police just sort of gave up at a certain point and just let everyone go up the stairs, like this. Oh, meanwhile, up on the steps of the backside of the Capitol, we're seeing protesters overcome the police. The police are now running back into the Capitol building. We have cheers from the protesters that are watching behind the scenes. So when I see that, I'm wondering to myself, okay, why did the police allow for that? And then as soon as they started to allow for that, you saw the protesters go, oh yeah, come on up. Let's go on up these stairs. Yeah, why did that happen? Why did the police allow for that? Were their lives in danger at that point? It's weird. This is incredible. All afternoon, things here have been so peaceful. This is a decidedly different feeling now. The protesters have overcome the police and are now gathered on the backside of the stairs of the Capitol building. Throughout the day, we were talking to some protesters from Long Island, New York, who said they anticipated occupying the Capitol. We did not anticipate that occupying meant taking over 
the police and getting onto the stairs of the Capitol. She can't be serious. If people are saying they want to occupy the Capitol, you know, that doesn't mean, oh, let's let's all go around the outside of the Capitol. If they're saying they want to occupy the Capitol, they, they probably want in. But nevertheless, then we have footage of things like this. Ma'am, what, what happened to you? I got maced. You got maced. Yeah. By the police. <laughs> and what happened? You were trying to go inside the yeah, Capitol? Yeah, I, I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they maced me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Thank you. Now, I suppose there might be people that say, oh, those were crisis actors. Trump supporters aren't that stupid. Well, there's plenty of footage of Trump supporters saying and doing a lot of stupid things. But anyway, how about what Trump said? I know you're pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it. Now, remember, this speech was supposed to be Trump condemning the rioting and people storming the Capitol building. But he starts it off by repeating lies that got people that riled up in the first place. Oh, it was a landslide election. No, there's, there's no proof at all in any way, shape or form that it was a landslide election towards Trump. There's proof of fraud. But was it enough fraud to change the election? Was it enough fraud to invalidate 7 million votes? Come on now. Especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election. As you can see, he can't just condemn their actions. He has to stir the pot some more. He has to show that he, he really, really sympathizes with the people that are doing all this stuff. But we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. This is what he tells seditious treasonous terrorists. We love you. You're special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel. But go home and go home in peace. Because after all, you know, let's tell the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by. Let's encourage people to be extreme on the 6th. Oh, it'll be wild. 